from mysterious monsters that we thought were a myth to vanished grizzly bears, here are 10 extinct animals that could still be around today. Number 10, pygmy tarsiers. Here is an animal that you have definitely never heard of. This primate is absolutely bizarre. It fits easily in the palm of your hand and looks like a cross between a monkey, a lemur, and a space alien. It almost looks like a Furby. But what is really interesting about the pygmy tarsier is that scientists had already given up on this animal and assumed it was extinct. In fact, these animals are considered data deficient as there is almost nothing known about their species and they were already thought to have been gone. But according to a report in NBC News, one of these primates was found dead in a rat trap in the year 2000 in Indonesia, which definitely suggests that they are still alive. Then in 2008, three specimens were caught and tagged, and so this is a confirmation that these bizarre and unknown little monsters really do exist. The big question here is how much longer they can exist. And if something can pop back from extinction overnight, can it also slink back into the timeless void of non-existence? With about 60 villages slowly encroaching on the pygmy tarsier's mountain territory, it does not look like a rebound is set to happen, which makes us very sad. Number 9. Rab's Fringe-Limbed Tree Frog As you might imagine, there are a lot of frogs in the jungle. In fact, there are 17,291 species currently threatened by extinction, many of them tree frogs and many more of them in the jungle. This particular fella, who looks innocent enough with his frog green skin and big eyes, lived only in the mountains which surround the town of El Valle de Anton in Panama. As you have probably guessed, deforestation caused a brutal mass extinction of this poor little frog. Despite captive breeding efforts, everything to save the frog from ultimate doom has failed. And while these frogs are basically considered extinct, in 2006, a single solitary male has been heard calling in the wild. Could this lone tree frog be the savior of the species? Or is he calling to a mate that doesn't exist? Number eight, Mexican grizzly bear. You probably never knew that grizzly bears wandered from Mexico to as far north as the state of Colorado. Yes, there were actually grizzly bears thriving in Mexico. However, humans arrived and, well, you know the rest of the story. These bears were considered officially extinct in 1964, yet miraculously continue to be seen throughout North America. There have been incredible sightings in southern Colorado, and it is starting to seem like these once extinct grizzlies from the south are making their way back into the world of the living. Evidence has been found in Mexico of claw marks and footprints, all of it suggesting that Mexican grizzly bears are still alive, but extremely elusive. They may be living in the most remote regions still available to them in North America. However, it's highly doubtful that any wild animal could survive much longer, with their habitat being slowly crushed by residential expansion. And now for number seven, but first, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos like these. Number seven, Tasmanian Tiger. Tasmanian tigers have been extinct in Australia and Tasmania since 1936. This is according to official records. They were hunted to death because they were a threat to the livestock of the people. And yet, even though they've been officially gone for more than 70 years, there have been supposed sightings of Tasmanian tigers, not only in Tasmania, but also in mainland Australia. None of the sightings have been confirmed scientifically, but these were real people who spotted them. And yes, they were sober. In 1979, there was one mass sighting of a single Tasmanian tiger by fencing workers early in the morning. This was a daytime report of more than one person who spotted a Tasmanian tiger. Add to this incident almost a dozen additional sightings over the years, and there is definitely some shaky evidence that the Tasmanian tiger may be living in the wilds undetected. However, it could just be that the sightings have been wild dogs. Number six, Yangtze River Dolphin. Most people think dolphins only live in the ocean, but this isn't true. There are Amazonian river dolphins, and there are even pink river dolphins in some remote regions of Colombia. However, in the Yangtze River, a once prosperous group of dolphins was declared extinct in 2006. They'd been doomed ever since a massive dam was erected and a drastic increase in boat traffic ensued. Basically, the dolphins had nowhere to go and no hope of living. But recently, there have been reported sightings of this extinct dolphin in the Yangtze River. 
there was a massive undertaking in which 3,640 kilometers of water was searched for any proof of the dolphin, but there was no evidence found. The only possible evidence comes from eyewitnesses. The only hope left now is that somewhere in this massive river, there's a family of dolphins living in seclusion. It is a sad thing to think that an increase in boat traffic was able to kill off an entire species of river dolphin. Number five, Loch Ness Monster. I'm gonna get into a lot of trouble on this one, but it must be mentioned. In the Scottish Highlands, there lays a lake. Of course, I'm talking about Loch Ness. Stories of a horrific monster living inside of Loch Ness are thousands of years old. While the lake only became globally famous in 1933 when sightings of something large and terrible living inside the lake spread across the world, even being mentioned in the New York Times in roughly 55 instances, there had been sightings much earlier than that. According to Popular Mechanics, there are texts roughly 1,500 years old that detail sea serpents and water horses living in the massive lakes of northern Scotland. Many people believe that because there have been consistent stories about the same lake and the same monster for almost 2,000 years, it's gotta be true. But here is where some science comes in. Descriptions of the supposed Loch Ness Monster actually resemble an extinct animal. The animal, known as a plesiosaurus, has supposedly been extinct for somewhere around 65 million years. However, the possibility of there being one alive in this incredibly deep lake known as Loch Ness is indisputable. Sure, it hasn't been proven, but it hasn't been disproved either. There could very well be an extinct dinosaur living at the bottom of the loch. Number four, dodo bird. This is a pretty cool scientific leap forward. While the dodo bird is undoubtedly extinct, the island where it used to call home is completely occupied by humans and there's not been a single dodo bird spotted in hundreds of years, it may be coming back sooner than expected. This is the beginning of a real-life Jurassic Park. According to an article in How Stuff Works, scientists in 2007 discovered the most well-preserved skeleton of a dodo bird ever and it may be providing the DNA needed to bring back the exceptional bird from the lost gulf of extinction. A little information about the dodo bird. They were basically fat pigeons that went extinct because humans invaded their natural habitat and released dogs, pigs, rats, and even monkeys that ended up eating all the birds' eggs until they went extinct. It also didn't help that humans hunted the dodos and ate them into literal oblivion. And while some scientists still claim it's impossible, more scientists than ever are believing in the power of DNA reconstruction to bring back to life the dodo bird. But what would this mean for other lost animals? Could we see a pterodactyl soaring through the sky in 50 years? Let us know in the comments. Number three, coelacanth. If you're a fan of Animal Crossing, you know all about the coelacanth. Here is a fish that if still around today, would probably not be around for much longer. This fish is a shining example of how almost 400 million years of evolution can be dramatically cut short by a couple of humans draining the sea with their nets. The coelacanth is one of the oldest animals on Earth, with a lineage that can be traced back about 360 million years. Scientists originally thought these animals had already been dead and gone for 65 million years. However, the coelacanth was rediscovered in 1938. These miraculous fish grow to be six feet or longer and they can live for around 60 years, and they have a fierce hunger for cephalopods. These are definitely prehistoric sea monsters. However, by the year 2020, it's unknown whether these animals are at risk of extinction, basically extinct, gone entirely, or if they can rebound. They were already presumed extinct until 1938. Can the coelacanth cement their place on Earth for another million years, or have they already faded away? Number two, Imperial Woodpecker. Some of you out there may not care about birds, but we do. So you're gonna hear all about the possibly extinct Imperial Woodpecker, which is probably the coolest woodpecker to have ever existed. This was once a thriving bird living in the high mountains of Mexico, but in the late 20th century, most people thought they'd vanished into extinction. It was commonly thought by many bird enthusiasts that the Imperial Woodpecker was completely extinct. But then a 16 millimeter film was found that revealed the very last footage ever caught of the majestic imperial woodpecker in the wild. The video only lasts a few seconds, but in the video you can see a female imperial woodpecker flying out of the brush and launching into flight. This renewed hope of the bird's existence on our planet. However, the skepticism is that the film was shot in 1956 by a man from Pennsylvania. 
Also, the film was shot from a handheld camera, while the man sat on the back of a mule. And in 2010, according to the Daily Press, when two researchers from the Cornell Lab launched an expedition into the area to try and discover evidence of the Imperial Woodpecker, absolutely none was found. This is not good news for the Imperial Woodpecker. Is it still alive, or did the female bird in the video from 1956 die off shortly after being captured on tape? Number 1. Woolly Mammoths As always, the best has been saved for last. Everybody's favorite elephant is back, supposedly. A recent video on YouTube showed what appeared to be a woolly mammoth crossing a river in Siberia. While there has not been a mammoth sighting in over a hundred years, this video is startling possible evidence that somewhere in the vast and utterly inhabited regions of Siberia, there live more woolly mammoths. And while you may think of the woolly mammoth as more of a dinosaur, they didn't actually die off that long ago. It was only about 4,000 years ago that the woolly mammoth officially became extinct. It's not hard to believe that a small group of these hairy elephants have remained alive in a frozen and snowy region of the Earth where there is nobody to hunt them or videotape them. Of course, we all know a YouTube video is far from evidence, but it's still fun and exciting to think that the woolly mammoth could be brought back from extinction. If there are living mammoths and the right wildlife organization got to them first, we could see breeding of woolly mammoths until their numbers are recovered. It would have to be in zoos, but at least the population would not die in Siberia. And at least, they would not be hunted for their big, white tusks. Which of these amazing animals do you hope remains alive and well on our planet? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Be sure to catch the next amazing video, and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this episode! Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.